to 0.26. So we should, we, should, we should ensure to confirm when you make b the subject of this equation here, you will have our b to be to be this, that is to be to be this. Now so therefore our p now becomes 0 0.1 times um, 5025 0 0.1 times 5025 1.26 e to the power 0 0.1 t divided by 1 plus 10 to the power negative 7 into 50251.26 e to the power 0 0.1 0 0.1 t so this is this is what we get when we solve when we solve for p but then we shouldn't forget what the question asks us is that it says it says what is the limiting value of the population so saying what is the limiting value, the limit in there actually implies that you're told to find the population for large t. That is, as t tends to infinity, what does the population become? We want to know the population in a very long, very long time. So in other words, what we mean there is the question is asking us to find, so we want to find the limit as t tends to infinity of p now but then what you observe from here is we have p to be defined in terms of exponential you have 0 0.01 t we could rewrite this whole thing here that is writing this is what we want to find well let me write this as so we have p equals i'm going to multiply both sides both sides of that equation here that is this one here by e to the power minus 0 0.1 t and here by e to the power negative 0.1 t because I know that when I take the limit as t tends to infinity of e and then since if e has a negative exponent it's going to be 0 so that's why I decided to I want to write it like that and then when you do this you have 0 0.1 times b so e to the power this times this becomes 1 divided by 1 plus 10 to the power negative 7 then times times b and e to the power this also becomes um, becomes one. So implementing that, so we recall that we already had our b to be five zero to five one point two six. So this becomes okay. Then this becomes um, this is e to the power negative. So you don't forget to write this. This is e to the power negative zero point one t times one. So now to find the limit, the limit as t tends to infinity of p will just be the limit of this as t tends to infinity of 0.1b divided by e to the power minus 0.1t plus 10 to the power negative 7b. Now when we do that, what would have is so as t tends to infinity this this whole thing that we have here that is as t tends to infinity here it goes it goes to zero because it has a negative exponent here so we already know that as standard so that's what we're going to use so now we know that that goes to zero so we have zero point that gives us zero point one b divided by so this is going to be zero divided by ten to the power negative seven b so this crosses out and then we are left with 1 times 10 raised power, 10 raised power 6. So, so therefore, as the limiting value as t tends to infinity, our population, so this is going to be the limiting value of the population of p. That's going to be 1 times 10 raised to the power, sorry for that, raised to the power 6. This is exactly what we're told to find. Now to go on, the question goes back again and says that we shouldn't stop there. It says at what time will the population be equal to one half of its limiting value? <clears throat> what time will the population be equal to one half of its limiting value? So now you recall that we had this to be our final solution. 
this is what we had so I'm going to write that here so if this is our population and then this is the limiting value <clears throat> so what B is saying is that at what time will the population will the size of the population be equal to half of this now half of this is 500,000 500,000 now equals I want to write this now what we have here is 0 0.0.1 0 .1 times 5025 that, that gives us 5025.126 e to the power I'm writing what we have here e to the power 0 0.1 uh, 0.1c divided by uh, 1 plus 10 to the power negative 7 times 50251.26 e to the power 0 0.1.1c so what we want to do here is we want to find we want to find c so by the time we simplify this further <clears throat> to find t when we cross multiply, trying to find t, what we would have is 99.5 into e to the power negative 0 point, point 0.1 t plus 0 0.005 equals 1. So you note all we are doing is just it's, it's just um, the normal algebra. We, we are not really doing anything so um, spectacular. We're just trying to make t the subject of the equation. By the time you, you cross multiply and you make t the subject, you should try and confirm that this is this is actually correct. And then when we do this, so this is going to be it's like you're dividing both sides now by 99.5 by 99.5, and then what you have here is going to be e to the power negative 0.1 t equals 1 over 99.5 minus 0 0.005 I actually brought this to the side here minus 0 0.005 there so we we'll take the natural log of both sides and then what we have here is going to be negative 0 0.1 t equals the lean of 0 0.005 so and that implies that implies that as continuing from here now I'm going here so we'd have negative 0 0.1 t equals minus 5.298 minus 5.298 then we divide both sides by negative 0 0.1 and that gives us t equals 52 Point nine, point nine eight months. Fifty two point nine eight months. So this is this is this is the time it takes for the size of the population to, or the time it's going to take for the size of the population to be half its limiting its limiting value, and that completes the question.